Welcome to lecture at number eight of the Kiboku Academy. Uh, introduction to CubeSat Power Control System. My name is Yoshihiro Tsuruda. I'm a le lecturer of Tokyo University, uh, Faculty of Science and Engineering, Department of Aerospace Engineering. My research topics are micro, nano, pico, satellite system design, and electrical components design and gravitation development. I've been involved in various micro, nano, pico satellite projects, including CubeSat, since uh, 2010. In this lecture, I'll share uh, technical topics based on my experience. This is the contents that I will cover uh, in this lecture, I set these six categories. First, I've introduced the overview topics of an electrical power supply subsystem. I'll then talk about uh, power generation, such as what is a solar cell. Uh, in the third chapter, uh, I'll talk about power storage, such as what is a battery. Uh, we will then move uh, on to power control and distribution. In the fifth chapter, I will describe end-to-end -end test of an electrical power supply subsystem. And finally, I'll con uh, conclude my lecture. Let's begin with chapter one, introduction. In section 1.1, I'll talk about an introduction of EPS for micro, nano, micro, uh, nano, pico satellite, including CubeSat. As you know, the EPS, this means electrical power supply, is the most important subsystem from the viewpoint of energy handling. This image shows the conceptual diagram of the EPS function. Typically, the EPS uh, consists of uh, the following uh, functions, power generation, power storage, power control, and distribution. In this lecture, I'll explain the EPS-based on these uh, categories. For better understanding of EPS design and implementation, I'll first introduce four important keywords. Efficiency, per unit mass or per unit area, robustness for mission success, redundancy for mission success, safety for launch requirement. As for these keywords, why is it important? Please think about this question for each technical topic in your own way while listening to this lecture. In this section uh, 1.2, I'll talk about the uh, EPS architecture examples for micro, nano, pico satellite, including CubeSat. Architecture originally means the style and design of a building or buildings. This word also applies to system engineering. System architecture means the entire characteristics visualization of a target system, including the number of components, the kind of components, the connections between components in the case of EPS, voltage, current, signal, and ground. Graf uh, graphic uh, represents such as box and arrows are often used to express system architecture. 
uh, this diagram shows an example of EPS architecture design. In the early project phase, this kind of diagram is useful for better understanding and discussion among project members. The interface between elements should be represented in diagram that make it easy to identify the boundary conditions, numbers, types, and so on, as much as possible. This diagram shows, sorry, this diagram should be updated as the project progresses. These images show typical EPS architecture. For better design of EPS, it is important to identify the relationship between an uh, energy source, including solar cell and batteries, and load like OBC, uh, communication devices, attitude control, mission camera, and so on. Case one is solar cell only. This is a rare case for a gener uh, general CubeSat mission. In this EPS architecture, a system is not able to work during an eclipse. If the orbit is unique, uh, which means no eclipse condition, and the rose is stable, which means the difference between the peak value and uh, minimum value is small. This architecture might be uh, applicable. Case two is primary battery only. This is also a layer case for general cube submission. In this EPS architecture, a system is able to work up to the battery life after deployment from the launcher or the ISS. For example, this architecture was used in short duration missions, such as membrane deployment demonstrations by CubeSat, like Freedom by Tohoku University in 2017. Case three is solar cell plus secondary battery. This is a major solution for general CubeSat mission because it can survive duration and eclipse. And the peak power mode, which requires an overcapacity of solar cell power generation. This is fundamental architecture for long duration operation. Case three can be categorized into two major types. Case three type one is DET. This means direct energy transfer. Case three type two is MPPT. This means max peak power tracking control. I'll explain each of them, these in detail on the next page, the present read. These images shows the detailed diagram of case three, type one and type two. Uh, yellow colored box shows the uh, uh, yellow colored boxes shows the controlling mode, controlling module of each method. I'll explain about uh, comparison of DET versus uh, MPPT. Case three type one, DET, direct energy transfer plus shunt regulator. The shunt regulator circuit is connected between solar cells and batteries in parallel to control the solar cell operating point. A typical operating range is near CC, constant current, from BMP to near BMP, max power point. Shunt regulators are typically used for general uh, space systems. Case three type two, MPPT, max peak power tracking control. MPPT circuit uh, connected between solar cells and batteries in series like this. 
to control the solar cell operating point. Uh, typical operating range is near CV, constant voltage. Constant voltage range from uh, I minimum to uh, near uh, IMP. This method is uh, relatively new and it is better to achieve a higher energy conversion efficiency. Switching frequency might cause trouble for other electrical system like EMC. In both methods, the controlling mo module uh, generates heat during solar cell plating point control. Therefore, suitable thermal control method must be considered. In this section 1.3, I talk about key concepts for micro nano picosatellite, including CubeSat. First, I'll explain key concept for better EPS design and implementation. Considering the li limited resource of micro nano pico satellites, efficiency per unit mass or per unit area is a very critical point. In the case of a solar cell, what power area is an important factor. This is also expressed as a percentage in solar energy conversion efficiency. For batteries, what hour per mass is an important factor. In other words, the capacity per unit mass. In the DC-DC converter, energy transfer efficiency, which is the ratio of output power over input power is expressed as a percentage. In other words, uh, the evolution trends towards a miniaturization of electrical parts while keeping the original performance, which can realize a state-of-the-art CubeSat system. With a viewpoint of mission success, robustness and re redundancy is also important. Robustness is related to failure risk minimization and redundancy is related to failure uh, fault tolerance, standby alternative functions and uh, backups. For complying with launcher or ISS requirements, safety is also a considerable factor of EPS design. Never cause catastrophic or critical hazard during launch. As for safety design, I'll talk about this in a later uh, session related to batteries. This biograph summarizes the primary design process for EPS. Step one is identify requirements. Orbit type, mission life, payload definition, and duty ratio of bus functions should be organized and coordinated with salary system, engineers, and launch interface providers. Step two is select and size the power source. In this step, design parameters related to power generation, solar cell, must be considered. EPS engineer collect information of uh, candidate solar cell uh, product and consider the basic design of the solar cell panel, including how many cells in series and in parallel connection. Physical design of how a solar cell panel interacts with the structure of a subsystem is especially important. Therefore, uh, inter-subsystem coordination is needed by checking with a 3D model. Step three is select and size the power storage. 
Our next considerable point is the power storage. Based on the solar cell power generation uh, capability uh, organized in step two, EPS engineers collect information of candidate battery cell product and consider the basic design of a battery module, including how many cells there are in series and in parallel connection. In the case of the physical design of battery module, generally speaking, the variational temperature range tend to be narrow. It is also important to consider constellate not only with the structure of the subsystem, but also the thermal properties of the subsystem. Step four is identify power control and distribution architecture. Based on the baseline design plan of a solar cell panel and battery module, power control and distribution architecture should be considered. Power control and power distribution functions are allocated on a single board or on a different board. As for specific consideration point for power control and power distribution, I'll talk about this in the later section. So this design loop is rarely uh, completed in one trial. Therefore, iteration is needed until all interface coordinations and requirements are satisfied. This view graph shows a uh, consideration policy for reasonable, reliable EPS design and implementation. This ordering is based on my project experience named Hodoyoshi. This means just good in Japanese. Proposed by Professor Nakasuke, the University of Tokyo, since 2010. Level one is keep a simple configuration and simple operation plan, like single task. If you suddenly start to consider complex system architecture, including advanced functions and backup systems, critical point that uh, really need to be discussed uh, carefully will be lost to find and divest the discussion. First of all, please start by considering a simple configuration to realize the minimum system to achieve what you want to do. Level two is sex device with lower consumption and that have been demonstrated on Novi as much as possible. For the CubeSat, two larger power consumption device uh, compared to the, the energy source capacity is bad for the entire feasibility. If the function functions the small, the product with the lower power consumption is the best choice. Level three is the CPU or equivalent control unit digital controller or EPS component should be able to recover from a hang up by a power on reset, especially uh, for tolerance against TID or SEU or SEL. Level four is failure recovery option and redundant configuration. Level five is facet of power con conversion efficiency. Finally, level six is advanced functions, including autonomous control, uh, parallel tasks. After upper level design and verification was had been considered, move on the next design step. As the last topic of chapter one, I will share 
uh, procured know-how for better power balance design. The first point of the relationship between power generation and satellite attitude mode, in other words, uh, solar cell coverage ratio to the sun. If your CubeSat had the same amount of solar cell area in all directions, you would have uh, less to worry about. However, if your CubeSat had none or fewer solar cells than the surface area, this point is very critical. There are several attitude modes like sun pointing, earth pointing, and tumbling. This means no control. The accu uh, accuracy of power generation is depend on the development level or maturity. maturity of uh, attitude control system. The second point is enough number of power mode. The combination of the component being in uh, the on or off state should be defined. The minimum power mode for survival must be defined independent of the satellite attitude. The third point is identify constant power on component and on or off controllable component. In the case of constant power on component, there is uh, OBC, uh, power control unit, uh, power distribution unit, attitude sensors, uh, MTQ, uh, magnetic torques, and so on. On the other hand, for on, uh, on or off controllable components, there are the mission camera, mission data transfer, and so on. Management of surplus or lack of power is realized by controlling the operating time or duty ratio of the mission device. High power transmitter or uh, actuators, like uh, magnetic, magnetic torques or reaction wheels. Let's move on to chapter two, power generation. In section 2.1, I'll give an introduction of solar cells. Power generation on CubeSat is realized by solar power architecture, uh, generally called solar cell or solar panels or solar alleys. A solar cell is a kind of a, a semiconductor device for applying a photovoltaic effect, as shown in this diagram. Roughly speaking, a uh, solar cell has the same architecture as a diode or LED. Solar power flux is 1,367 watt per square meter in orbit on average at one AU, astronomical unit, so near Earth orbit. Therefore, for one uh, surface of a uh, one U CubeSat, which has uh, 100 square centimeter, so 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter, the expect expected power generation is approximately 4.1 watt at a solar cell efficiency of about 30%. The feeding efficiency considering a mechanical interface of a CubeSat flame is about 65 to 70%. Therefore, the realistic power generation is approximately 2.6 watt per one surface of a one CubeSat, one U CubeSat at a nominal temperature condition. Uh, this is about 25 degrees Celsius. In this section 
I'll talk about major characteristics of solar cells. This table shows typical specifications of solar cell product, silicon cells and uh, TJ. This means triple junction cell. General solar cell uh, selection checkpoint uh, the following. According to the state of the uh, trend, triple junction or multi junction type solar cell uh, popular. So high efficiency solar cells are becoming more widely used. As for solar cell hardware configurations, CIC or KIC, uh, cover glass integrated cell is better from the viewpoint of easy handling or assembling. Thickness of the cover glass affect, uh, affect the lifetime against the total dose on orbit. Dimensions and positions of the electrodes affect the solar panel design, so cell layout. According to space uh, state-of-the-art trend, dimensions within uh, 80 by 40 millimeters side cell are relatively popular. Therefore, in the case of one U CubeSat, two solar cells are allocated on the surface. In this context, the EPS designer should uh, decide how to connect two solar cells in series or parallel. Generally, it depends on the power control design. As for the question of how many series the power control method and bus voltage are related. Usually, in the case of typical architecture, of MPPT, two series connection tend to be used. As for the uh, question of how many parallel, the operation time and margin are related. Considering the ratio of the eclipse to sunshine time derived from the orbit calculation, uh, consumptions, the EPS, sorry, the EPS engineer uh, determines the require, required battery capacity and uh, nominal power consumptions during sunshine phase and defines the required power generation from the solar cell and the total number of parallel strings of a solar cell. In section 2.3, I'll talk about design and testing of a solar cell, uh, solar cell panel. If only a few uh, reference data are available, uh, a solar cell properties investigate is needed in the early project phase. This kind of investigation is performed by uh, using a single cell, usually called a test cell coupon. This graph is, shows the IB curve and PB curve based on a triple junction solar cell. Its efficiency is about 29% used in past Microsoft missions by the University of Tokyo. The different temperature characteristics can be seen in the distribution of the different colored line as shown in these graphics. In this kind of uh, performance test, these five parameters are uh, identified. One is uh, VOC, open circuit voltage, two, uh, ISC, short circuit current, three, IMP, current at maximum power point, VMP, voltage at maximum power point, PMP, voltage, sorry, uh, power at maximum power point. To perform uh, this measurement, we had to use a special solar simulated lighting facility. This facility can generate 100% 
intensity of solar cell light on orbit. Additionally, this facility is equipped with an isothermal stage to change the solar cell surface temperature. These values show the measurement result. As shown in this result, solar cell performance depends on its temperature. Uh, refer to the data sheet when this kind of performance test is not able to be performed by your own project. It is important to identify the performance change in the operational temperature range. These images single test shows, sorry, these images shows single test configurations based on the past Microsoft missions by the University of Tokyo. Since the use of a uh, special facility such as uh, mentioned in the previous page is not able to use uh, frequently, these approaches are also useful uh, for considering simple performance test of the manufactured uh, solar panels. Using natural sunlight at around noon of the doors, uh, we had achieved measured by about 70% uh, intensity on orbit. Although it is not an uh, accurate uh, performance evaluation because uh, uh, Wavelengths of the sunlight under the atmosphere is different from the, that of orbital sunlight. It is sufficient for the purpose of confirming that the quality of the manufactured solar panel is acceptable. Using a small solar lamp inside a room, uh, we had uh, achieved a measurement by about 50 percent intensity on orbit. The performance of this kind of small solar lamp depends on the product. It is uh, sufficient for the purpose of checking if the power, uh, power connector from the solar panel is surely connected. In section 2.4, I'll talk about uh, examples of solar cell panel products. This picture shows a solar cell panel design uh, example based on past ISS CubeSat missions. I will now briefly summarize the specification and checkpoint for solar cell panels. This solar panel has three series by one parallel configuration, one string. So string means uh, a series connection of a solar cell must be uh, mounted on the same surface. If the solar cell that make up one string uh, mounted on a different surface, the string will not be able to generate as much current as expected due to shadowing. Therefore, never connect on the other surface in series. As for the solar cell panel assembly checkpoint, the following point are important. Interconnectors, uh, this means electrodes, attaching process, uh, soldering or spot welding, gluing uh, work, work massive for cell attachment, so air bulb remaining must be avoided. Clearance between cells and bolt holes, uh, electrical uh, isolation. Electrical, in, in other words, electrical insulation. Usually uh, when you buy a solar cell panel product, you don't need to consider this special process by yourselves. If you are thinking of making your own solar cell panel, 
you need to train in advance to acquire the skill for special processes. In this view graph, I add the topic of solar panel design example, especially for Microsat. This picture shows a solar panel panel design example based on our past Microsat mission. In the case of Microsat, generally speaking, the number of solar cells in cities tend to be, be increased due to increases the available service area. This example shows uh, one solar cell string uh, consisting of 10 or 20 cells in cities. The same checkpoint as the CubeSat case uh, also important. The following point should be noted in the case of including the number of solar panels in cities. As solar cell layout and clearance of each cell, sorry, as for solar cell layout and clearance of each cell, as the number of in cities increases, the difference of voltage between the closest cell must be carefully managed to reduce the risk of discharging, which may cause the electric breakdown of cells. The recommended minimum clearance is one millimeter. The current loop of each cell storing is also important to reduce the effect of the magnetic force generation by a current loop. This can be one of the causes of attitude anomalies. Let's move on to chapter three, power storage. In section 3.1, I'll talk about introduction of battery. Solar energy is not always available during operations because of the orbit conditions like eclipse or peak loss over solar cell power generation. Generally, uh, generally uh, primary and secondary batteries are used for power storage. A battery cell is a kind of electrochemistry device for applying an oxidization uh, reduction reaction. So in as well as ion generation as shown in these images. As you know, battery are uh, classified uh, according to their different uh, electrochemistry. There's uh, various types of batteries. As primary batteries are not rechargeable, they are typically used for short mission durations. In section 3.2, I will talk about major characteristics of a battery. Secondary battery, oh, this means uh, rechargeable battery options are the following. As you know, uh, by using your common sense as an engineer, date seat must be checked uh, before purchasing, purchasing the battery cells. Unlike the other elements of a CubeSat, uh, especially the, in the case of a battery, uh, misunderstanding of the specifications might cause a catastrophic hazard at a later project phase. The EPS engineer must carefully check not only the technical data sheet, but also another supporting materials like the MSDS, Material Safety Data Seed. After purchasing battery cells, an in initial inspection and screening test should be performed by the project to responsibility. Responsibly uh, select uh, beta cells for a flight model. 
generally speaking, flight model battery cells should be selected from the group of two or four times more the number of batteries than the required number for the flight model. This margin is helpful to make backup hardware when any trouble is uh, critical as battery cells must be replaced. This table shows the typical specification of battery cells product of nickel metal hydrogen type and uh, lithium ion type. The nickel metal hydrogen type is safer, but the mass efficiency is smaller than a typical lithium ion cell. On the other hand, lithium ion type is more efficient, but the hazard risk is relatively high. Therefore, understanding these characteristics, the CubeSat project must be decide which type, nickel metal hydrogen or lithium ion to adopt. This decision depends on the maturity level, product, uh, level of project members, especially for the case of lithium ion. Uh, well, uh, educated person uh, must be handled the cell. After identifying the specifications of the battery cell type, uh, decision, the EPS engineer uh, consider the design of a battery module assembly. As for the question of how many series the bus voltage is related, usually the typical CubeSat case, one series, two series, or three series of a battery connection is popular. For lithium ion case, uh, this means uh, unregulated voltage is four or eight or 12 voltages. As a uh, question of how many in parallel, the operational time is related. Considering the ratio of the eclipse of sunshine time delivered from the orbit calculation, the EPS engineer determine the required capacity and uh, decides the number of parallel connected battery cells. In section 3.3, I talk about design and testing of a battery. For better verification of the battery cell performance, the process and regulation must be considered well. At the first point, the charging and discharging profile for battery cells must be uh, standardized in the project. If the test pattern or test parameters are different at the each test phase, appropriate comparison of performance is difficult. Therefore, a common uh, measurement process, including test device, test scales, and test profiles must be defined. This view graph shows an example of a standard, standard test profile based on first ISS CubeSat missions. The red color shows the voltage profile uh, concept drawing, and the blue line shows the current profile concept drawing. The profile consists of the all five phases, setup phase, pre-charge phase, main discharge phase, main charge phase, and post-discharge phase. For the purpose of co uh, comparison, between each test phase, the data from the main discharge and the main charge phase are used. The final phase, uh, post-discharge, can be uh, inserted in special case to adjust the battery capacity be before moving on the next event. The specific values like current conditions, uh, charging, stop, uh, charging stop voltage, over voltage condition, and uh, discharging stop voltage, under voltage condition, depends on the 
individual battery cell type. As same as with a solar cell, it is also important to check the temperature characteristics of battery cell. Therefore, the therefore for much better uh, verification of battery performance, keep constant temperature during measurement by using an isolated isothermal chamber. This is a recommended option. This biograph shows a conceptual uh, trend drawing uh, example based on uh, past ISS cube submissions. The upper graph, graph shows the discharging trend. On the other hand, the lower graph shows the charging trend. As shown in this view graph, the battery cell uh, performance on the operational temperature range tend to be uh, drastically changed. This example based on a state-of-the-art lithium-ion battery cell, generally speaking, uh, at the hot condition in which the temperature range is plus 25 to plus 40 degrees Celsius, has better uh, battery cell performance because it enhances internal electrochemical uh, reactions. However, the lava temperature of the battery, the lava performance, and in same type of battery cells, the apparent capacity drop to about 50% uh, in the region below uh, zero degree Celsius because of internal uh, resistance increasing. These kind of temperature characteristics of a battery cell depend on the product number of product number or manufacturer. Therefore, uh, since this may be different from lot to lot, uh, it is uh, advisable to uh, actually uh, measure and uh, confirm the values in the project, rather than just uh, referring to the typical value in the data sheet. Uh, temperature uh, characteristics of a battery cell uh, confirmed in this way and must be used to calculate the power budget analysis too. In section uh, 3.4, I'll talk about safety design and testing of a battery. These images show typical battery hazard uh, concept. Typical battery cell hazard uh, categorized into these four cases. Case one is an internal short. This failure mode is caused by the internal failure of a battery cell production after uh, production and or structural damage like needling to the cell package or by a dropping shock. To reduce the risk of internal short failure, uh, one of the better uh, actions is a screening test from viewpoint of safety. I'll describe uh, this in detail on the next page. Case two is an external shot. This failure mode is caused by EPS circuit design failure or workmanship error of the PCB print circuit board and harness product. To prevent this failure mode, a better action is performing a current shutdown function test of a, a fuse device or a PTC, a positive temperature coefficient device. Case three is overcharging and case four is over discharging. These failure modes are also caused by EPS circuit design failure or workmanship error of the PCB and harness product. 
to, uh, to mitigate uh, these hazard risks, the EPS engineer must perform uh, function tests uh, related to uh, the power control circuit and or battery production circuit at the subsystem level. Other possible hazards include being out of the temperature range and so on. Continuing from uh, the previous page, I will discuss uh, battery cell screening to reduce the risk of an internal short mode. This biograph shows an example of the a test and check flow based on past CubeSat missions. The specific values of each test requirements and criteria uh, depend on each launch condition. So it is not uh, present here. Please refer to the concept of this test process. As shown in the flow diagram, this flow diagram uh, includes a, a standard check process, including charging and discharging profile measurement, and so on, like uh, check number one, check number two, and check number three, with each uh, being defined. By adopting a common checking pro uh, procedure, the different uh, difference between each uh, environmental tolerance test before and after uh, performance uh, can be uh, compared uh, appropriately. Two kinds of environmental te tolerance tests may be required. One is a vacuum leak test, the other is a random vibration test. Both tests are useful for finding the worst cell in its uh, initial condition. As for the vacuum leak test, if there are any cells with a leakage program, uh, it must could change significantly before and after the test. As for the random vibration test, if uh, there is a cell with a problem in its internal structure, uh, there uh, could be a large difference in charging and discharging characteristics being and after and test. Characteristics, sorry, before and uh, after and test. CubeSat project should carefully uh, read the requirement document for each launch opportunity and uh, determine the test profile. Please make sure to refer to the latest test requirement document from the launch opportunity. Continuing from uh, the previous page, I will discuss uh, battery screening to reduce the risk of an internal short mode. Uh, after performing each check, the difference, like uh, check number one and check number two, and also uh, check number two and check number three, should be uh, summarized into a table as shown here in the upper left. Uh, <coughs> a graph as shown here in the left lava. It's easy to compare which conditions meet the requirement or not. These suits, suites, uh, these suites of tests are also available uh, to understand the battery cell performance. By referring to this test data, the EPS engineer selects the past cells and considers a uh, pairing of the same uh, parallel combination. In order to get the maximum performance out of the combination of the parallel batteries, it is important to combine cell with profile as close as possible. 
in section 3.5, I'll talk about uh, examples of a battery module product. This diagram shows an example of battery configuration and designed in a previous CubeSat mission. In this design example, we adopted uh, two series by two parallel uh, configuration. So total four cells of lithium ion battery. In this battery module design, uh, we adopted uh, ladder type connection, uh, which means uh, a midpoint between the first stage and second stage of the battery cell is connected like this. In this so that uh, the circuit can be uh, maintained even if one cell has an open failure. How the battery cell connect uh, usually uh, depend on the cell characteristics. Continuing from uh, the previous page, I will introduce a battery module design example. This drawing shows a hardware package design example. As shown in this drawing, uh, this package can contain uh, four cylindrical cell cells in a row. Uh, flat uh, circular plate of uh, cylindrical cells uh, electrolytes. Therefore, the, uh, by inserting uh, cells in a different direction and changing the interconnection, uh, two series by two parallel configuration or one series by four parallel configuration are selectable. Uh, I will now briefly summarize the battery module uh, mechanical integration checkpoints as the following. Uh, point one, uh, present foldings around the cell to reduce risk of displacement by vibration or shock conditions uh, during launch. Point two, as for the thermal uh, conductivity or thermal in, uh, insulation conduct, uh, <clears throat> conditions, uh, they depend on the thermal environment of the CubeSat. Point three, uh, install electrical uh, insulation around uh, electrolytes. Continuing from uh, the previous page, I continue the introduction of the battery module design example based on an actual product image. This picture is an example uh, of a battery module product based on the drawing as shown in the previous page. Dimensions are 92 millimeters by 78 millimeters by uh, 40, uh, 34 millimeter. Mass is uh, 330 grams. Follow the thermal control requirements of the entire satellite system, it was decided to define the surface of the enclosure in black as the thermal uh, coupling due to radiation need to be large. As for electrical insulation, the electrolytes at the interface point with the EPS board that appear on the module surface are uh, double insulated with Captain tape. Let's move on to chapter four, uh, power control and distribution. In section uh, 4.1, I'll talk about introduction of EPS circuit design. This diagram shows a uh, specified, uh, uh, simplified uh, EPS diagram. The below table shows uh, characterization of a typical uh, electrical parts uh, connected in series or parallel and identifying the failure mode being open or short. Important uh, condition point, uh, how is the item connected between the energy source, uh, solar cell or battery and load? The orange colored box shows the typical series connection item. 
On the other hand, the green colored box shows the typical parallel connection items. In the case of series connection item, if open mode failures were to happen, the circuit pass is cut off. Therefore, uh, this open mode failure for series connection items must be avoided because it will make the uh, downstream functions completely uh, unusable. In the case of parallel connection items, if a short mode failure were to happen, the current may be uh, increased. If the current increases because the can is greater than the uh, protection function can be uh, played right. The function of the uh, relevant pass uh, may become uh, completely usable. Therefore, uh, it's uh, this short mode failure for parallel connection items must be also avoided. In section 4.2, I'll talk about EPS circuit design examples. As shown in the previous EPS uh, simplified diagram, after identifying each element's characteristics, we think about how to solve these problems or how to make it more robust. In this section, I introduce design examples. These images shows design baseline and upgrade ideas for robust design. I have to emphasize uh, that the ideal design plans are not able to be realized due to system resources, uh, constraints like mass or volume or area. Therefore, the EPS engineer uh, must consider a uh, design trade-off. In other words, uh, element redundancy vs uh, system resources. It is important to consider the hierarchy of element in design trade-off. As for high priority loads, for example, uh, main telecommunication, uh, OBC, attitude control, uh, fundamental bus functions. Uh, its critical uh, factors uh, relate, relate to the satellite mission, success or failure. As shown in the robust design idea, uh, dual or uh, triple uh, allocation of the circuit element or parts is the most useful approach. Inserting uh, circuit limit resistance is also an effective uh, approach to protect against uh, unexpected uh, energy loss. However, the area of uh, PCB, print circuit board, might be limited to uh, mount all the uh, required circuit. In this case, uh, the following uh, actions are considered. Action one is uh, high density layout of a uh, circuit by using a smaller package of the electrical parts. Action two is accept a single point for low priority loads like uh, mission cameras and temperature sensors. In section 4.3, I talk about safety design and testing of EPS circuit, uh, usually called uh, inhibit concept. Inhibit means to prevent something from glowing. From the viewpoint of EPS safety design, inhibit are uh, usually uh, realized by switches or fuses or safety devices like uh, overcurrent protection or overcharging protection. In the case of the typical ISS condition or piggyback launch of a CubeSat, three inhibit between energy source, solar cells, and or battery and load may be required. 
as the simplest uh, expression, three inhibit is three switches or fuses uh, to cut off energy transfer. This diagram shows a design example of an EPS inhibit architecture based on my past uh, experience. The box of switch number one to number four is uh, linked to the deployment detection switches. After deployment from the ISS or launcher, all switches turn on and the system will be uh, activated automatically. During waiting uh, time on the port uh, before deploy deployment or launch, all of the following uh, combination are uh, protected by three inhibit uh, solar cells to load for unexpected uh, activation, load activation, uh, battery cell to load for unexpected load activation or battery cell external shot or a battery cell over discharging. Solar cell to load for a battery over discharging. Three means two fail safe. The possibility of all three switches breaking at the same time is very small for a random failure. The risk of design included failures of uh, inhibit circuit must be uh, mitigated by performing uh, enough uh, functional tests on the ground. To avoid unexpected trouble after launch, uh, heterogeneous uh, combinations are also useful. For example, uh, switch number one and number two is adapted product A, and switch number three and number four is adapted uh, product B. Uh, in section 4.4, I'll talk about uh, examples of EPS circuit board product. These images and um, the summarizes uh, show design examples based on a past ISS cube submission. Important checkpoint of EPS circuit uh, design uh, the following. Uh, as for the electrical parts layout, the EPS uh, developer uh, should carefully check, uh, especially for the clearance between uh, mechanical interface like board four and the closest parts. Large current passes should be uh, made larger. The recommended design option is at least more than one millimeter width for copper pattern at the uh, one ampere condition. Grand plan layout and considering the uh, character uh, categorization of grand is important to reduce unexpected noise transfer between the analog and digital circuit. As for uh, maintainability of the PCB board, uh, PCB uh, during uh, replacing the discrete parts like uh, R uh, resistance or C uh, condenser or uh, L uh, coils to change the uh, circuit uh, constants or uh, properties uh, like over current uh, detection circuit uh, constant or uh, under voltage detecting constant. Uh, battery charging uh, C or CV setting, timer waiting setting, ICs mode setting. A suitable layout or package size should be uh, considered, uh, like easy to uh, perform soldering. Let's move on to chapter five, EPS subsystem integration. End-to-end -end test of the EPS should be performed to verify the EPS integrated functionality after the uh, individual design and production of the EPS components. For example, solar cells, panels, battery, and power control and distribution. Generally, a test harness, uh, actual FM harness, or motherboard 
uh, used to connect all EPS components. Uh, which uh, method is suitable depends on the purpose of the test. The SAS, uh, usually called SAS, means uh, solar array simulator power supply uh, tend to be used on the table test. In the case of uh, focusing on the circuit board and battery uh, validation like a charging and discharging test. In the case of uh, focusing on the actual uh, FM flight model solar panel uh, performance or interface check, uh, flight model solar panel uh, attached to the power control board. This diagram shows an example of an EPS subsystem and to end test configuration. As for additional test devices, FM and flight model uh, deployment switches uh, used for the interface check. Uh, digital uh, multimeters to measure current and voltage uh, used to verify the monitoring functions of AD conversion. Oscilloscope and uh, used for checking the noise condition of power output or signal interfaces. Uh, suitable test configuration must be considered. Uh, continuing from the previous page, I will introduce an example of EPS end-to-end -end test. This big graph shows an, uh, examples, an example of an of nominal test. Uh, by performing this test, we verify uh, that the battery SOC uh, state of charging is uh, recovered from almost 0%, uh, usually called dead battery state. This test was uh, performed at uh, the EPS subsystem level configuration. To emulate uh, realistic uh, battery condition, uh, the environment temperature was kept at uh, a constant uh, plus four degrees Celsius uh, by an isothermal chamber. Based on the predicted uh, temperature on Novit. The charging uh, period is uh, 60 minutes and the discharging period is 30 minutes. To emulate the solar cell power input, we used a constant current mode of the SAS, solar array simulator power supply. This blue color line shows the battery voltage trend. Uh, we, we confirm the voltage, uh, battery voltage almost equal to SOC and recovered from the predicted time scale. This table shows uh, checkpoints of EPS design and implementation summary. Please use in it, please use this for reviewing this lecture. Chapter six, conclusion. Finally, I uh, conclude this lecture as the following. EPS is the most important subsystem from the viewpoint of uh, energy handling. As for power generation, uh, according to the state of the art trend, available uh, top grade solar cell, uh, the multi-junction type, its efficiency is about 30%. The IV curve profile of a solar cell uh, corresponding to the operational temperature range should be confirmed at the single cell level. As for power storage, according to the state of the trend, a lithium ion battery is popular for a CubeSat mission. Its capacity is 3.0 to 3.5 ampere hour. The charging and discharging profile of a battery uh, corresponding to operational temperature range, this should be confirmed at the single cell level. A lithium ion battery, secondary battery, is a very hazardous item. Therefore, uh, users must uh, learn how to handle the battery cell before starting actual product design. As uh, functions of 
power control and distribution, uh, effective uh, redundancy design or robust idea must be considered within system resources, like the area, volume, or mass. EPS subsystem and doing test, not only uh, nominal case, but also nominal test, should be performed uh, as long as possible. Thank you for your kind of listening. That's all for this lecture.